Okay, continuing on the slice, let's look at probability distributions basic. And so what we'll do here, it tells us uh, that we have this probability distribution. And uh, what we have here are a couple of missing numbers that we need to fill in. So first of all, let's spend a couple of minutes talking about what a probability distribution is. And then let's talk about some of the rules that go with that. And then we'll talk about how to solve this particular problem. First of all, sometimes in uh, math books, uh, they use numbers like this to tell us some certain facts or truths. So basically what they're going to tell us here is that in a probability distribution, the sum of your probabilities has to total one. So looking back over here at our list, the first thing, the first rule is that all of the numbers in the second column must add up to exactly one. Okay. Now one other thing that we notice here is that any individual probability here has to be a fraction that lies somewhere between 0 and 1. It can be 0, and we'll use that trick to our advantage here in a second. It can also be 1. Okay. But as a rule, probabilities are fractions or decimals between 0 and 1, and they can include those values. So let's go back over to our problem. Well, we know here that all of these numbers have to add up to 1. So the first question is, well, what numbers do we have and what do they add up to? So what I would tell you to do first here is go ahead and grab for your calculator. So what we're simply going to do here is to add up the probabilities that we have. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a 0 0.26. We're going to have a 0 0.13. And we're going to have a 0 0.17. So let's go ahead and add those up here on our calculator. I'll just punch those in and get the total. So 0 0.56, that's the total of those three values. Now remember, as we look at our list here, that these numbers have to add up to 1. Now, what we've got is 0 0.56. So we're going to need whatever it takes essentially like a complement to complete this adding up to 1. So if I want to figure out what that is, an easy way to do that is to simply go over here and take 1 minus that point 56, because that's going to be what it takes to make 1, what it takes to complete this point 56, and that value turns out to be 0 0.44. So what I'm going to need to complete my probability distribution is 0 0.44, and actually any two numbers here that would make that work would be suitable. So one thing I could do is go 0 0.22 and 0.22 that would work. But here's a way that I like. Simply call one of those zero, because you're allowed to have zero as a probability, and then simply make the other one the whole amount. So 0 0.44. Let's check that. 